Hello, my name is Antoine Gagneur and I work on LoRaWAN Topics at Savon Montblanc University. In this video, we will experiment FIOTA and update an end device firmware over the air. Let's have a try. FIOTA allows us to update remotely a whole end devices fleet. But in order to make the demonstration as clear as possible, we will update the firmware of only one end device and it will work in class C. That means only two messaging packages will be used, fragmentation and firmware management. A last information about the demo is the end device has been deployed with a FIOTA ED firmware. So now, what is the process? First, we will create a new firmware thanks to STM32 Cube IDE and the dedicated FIOTA project. Then, we will fragment this firmware image with our Python tool and send it to our end device through a fragmentation session. Finally, we will remotely reboot the end device to launch the firmware update. To carry out this process, we need equipment. There is a Nucleo F74 6ZG as gateway. We will use Vimpor Community from Actility as network server. Lastly, we will manage our further session thanks to dashboards we have built at USMB. The first one will help us to manage the fragmentation session, and the other will handle the reboot comments. And before starting, let's have a look at the firmware management dashboard. At the top, there are sections. They describe the main firmware management comments. Actually, other commands exist, but we will only focus on the most useful of them for the demonstration. This Node-RED dashboard is connected to Actility Network Server. That means it allows us to send downlinks and receive uplinks. At the bottom, there is a downlink area and an uplink analyzer. It will help us to understand payloads received from the end device. Right, we can now start the demonstration. The already deployed firmware is the 1.1.1 version and makes the end device sending the payload 01 on the port 1. If I launch an HTM window and I start the end device, I can check that. Version 1.1.1 and 01 payload on port 1. Right, let's create the new firmware. It will be the version 1.1.2 and make the end device sending 02 on port 2. I launch my FIOTA project with the SDM32 cube IDE. I go to LoRa app version file to set the version. Then I go to LoRa app file in the function center x data to change the payload and the port. All modifications are done. Now I can build the project. The build has created different files into the binary folder. The new firmware image is the LoRaWAN EndNode SFB file. Right, our new firmware version is ready. We will now fragment it. I launch the Python script and I choose the file mode. Then I set the fragment size I want. I set it to the maximum that is 112 bytes. And then I select the file we have just generated. Perfect, my fragments are generated and the script gives me information about them. We see that our file has been split into 640 fragments. The fragmentation session will need 48 bytes padding and the session will last more than an hour. Finally, I save my fragments as CSV and SFB file. Let's begin the fragmentation session. The very first step is the session setup. To do so, I will use the frag session setup rec command. First, I set the session ID. Then, we do not use any multicast context here. I set the multicast group bit mask to 40. Then, I set the number of encoded fragments. It is 640. I also set the size of the fragment to be set. It is 112 bytes. I precise the FEC algorithm ID, that is zero. The arc delay feature is not needed here. I set it to zero. The Python tool gives us the padding. It is 48 bytes. 
And finally, I set the descriptor or the version number. Let's say 010020. Right, I can create the command. Now, to send it, I copy paste the payload in the downlink area. I precise the port, which is port 201 for fragmentation commands. And lastly, I set the dev UI of my end device. Then, I set the downlink. On the uplink analyzer, we see the end device has acknowledged the command. From now, the end device is ready to receive our fragments. To send the fragments, I use the data fragment auto tool. First, I upload my fragments file my Python tool has generated. And I can see here that the uploaded information is correct. 640 encoded plus 640 coded fragments of 112 bytes. Well, I set the dev UI of my end device and I fill the fragmentation session ID, which is zero. Then I set up the session. Great, session is ready to go. In tandem, I open an HTM window to see my end device logs. And I start the session. Excellent, we see the fragments arrive on the end device logs. Now, we will let the session go and come back when it's over. Well, the end of session uplink frame has been received and on the end device logs, we see the end device as we build the data block. We can now trigger the firmware update. Let's switch to the firmware management dashboard. The dev reboot timeware command allows us to schedule the reboot. For our demonstration, we will choose the as soon as possible option and create the command. Now, to send it, I copy paste the payload in the downlink area, I precise the port, which is port 203 for firmware management commands, and lastly, I set the dev UI of my end device. Then, I set the downlink. On the end device logs, we see the end device is rebooting. As it has received a new firmware image, it swaps it with the old one. Great, we see that the firmware version is 1.1.2. Then the end device rejoins and we see it now sends the payload 02 on port 2. So, everything went well, we managed a successful firmware update over the air session. Fiota is an essential feature as it allows an end device's owner to update its end device's fleet remotely at once. To learn more about Fiota, feel free to check our ebook, which will explain all you need to know about this feature. If you want to make your own Fiota session, the Node-RED dashboards and the STM32 project used during this demonstration are also available. All needed information and links are in the description below. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching.